Witness for the prosecution. The most electrifying entertainment of our time. The stunning climax to a half century of motion picture suspense. The setting is London. The story, two people in love. A murder and a trial climaxed by the 10 most breath-stopping minutes you've ever lived. The cast, Tyrone Power, in love with a woman who holds his life in her beautiful hands. Charles Lawton, in the most scintillating role of his brilliant career. Marlena Dietrich, the woman of mystery, a fascinating question mark. Mrs. Vole, do you love your husband? Linda thinks I do. Well, do you? Am I already under oath? We are dealing with a capital crime. The prosecution will try to hang your husband. Betty, bye. We'd better go upstairs now. Get undressed and lie down. We? Oui, what a nauseating prospect. How did you get hold of these? What difference does it make so long she gets what's coming to her? What have you got against her? Ha! I'll give you something to dream about, mister. Want to kiss me, ducky? Witness for the prosecution. You killed Emily French. No, I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't kill her. I never killed anybody. The question is, Frau Helm, were you lying then? Are you lying now? Or are you not, in fact, a chronic and habitual liar? Damn you. Damn you. Leave her alone. Damn you. Members of the jury, are you all agreed upon your verdict? We are. Do you find the prisoner at the bar, Leonard Stephen Vole, guilty or not guilty of the murder of Emily Jane French? Guilty or not guilty? The answer to that question is the end of most mystery stories. But in witness for the prosecution, it is only the beginning of a series of climaxes that I defy you to guess. You'll talk about this picture all right, but you'll never tell the ending to your friends because you won't want to spoil their excitement and their fun. <laughs>